hi welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today i'm gonna recreate this look which is by Callie Kennedy on Taylor Russell. Love her and I love the look and I love the colors and I love everything. So I'm gonna recreate it. I've already done my base. I'm gonna start with a white pencil and I'm gonna map out where I want this rectangle thingy. Start from here. Good thing about having a big forehead for you real estate. The bottom line starts from like her ear is to be down here and then bring it across the nose do you know what on second thoughts i have a longer face than her i'm gonna bring the top line down a wee bit i want it to be like in proportion I'm gonna use this white foundation, which is from Nip and Fab, but you can obviously use like a white eye base or paint or whatever. So this is really just to make the green base pop, a nice blank canvas to sit on top of. So taking it over the brows, um, I love what the makeup artist has done and not like blocked the brows out, just covered them. I love doing that. I do that all the time. And just fill in the blanks. It doesn't need to be like completely blocked out. It just needs to be like a wash of white. To be honest, I don't know why I did my base first. You don't need to do that. It's better if you don't. I'm gonna go to Beauty Bay Palette and take the shade Serenity, which is that mint chocolate chip green. I'm debating whether to use a sponge or not. Try it with a sponge and hope for the best. Perfect. The only thing is trying to avoid the other colors in the palette. Oh, that is perfect, love it. I'm also trying to be careful not to put too much shadow on the sponge at one time because it can go a bit like blotchy take little bits at a time and blend it out and build it up that way okay i think we've got a good base down i'm gonna go in with a small brush like this and just build up the pigment a wee bit more can see the white lines blend them out because I just want it to be very I want them to be invisible so I want the the green to just fade out and blur out like okay loving that that is perfect I need to kind of sort the brows out a wee bit so I'm going to take a spoolie and a wee bit of that same shadow and I'm gonna brush it through. Okay, let's go to the eyeliner. I'm gonna use this by Rito Kali Kali Kajal, which is like my all-time favorite liner. We're gonna just do a really nice classic waterline liner. Really nice and tight. And then I'm gonna wing it up a wee bit. Just like this with um with nothing on it. And just blend it right down. To avoid the risk of adding more than I need. Make sure because the skin um and the eyes and everything around it is discoloured. Um, you want to make sure that you can't see any of the green so get every little bit black that needs to be I'm gonna take a wee bit of this use this kind of brush because it just makes a defined crease really easy and it creates that like circular shape for you just follow your crease just take a, a clean brush with nothing on it and blend that out. 
just so that there's no like harsh lines or anything. I'm actually gonna take a bit of the mint and blend it on top. Yeah, that's so, that's so good. Cause it just blends them together more easily. I love the little subtle details of this look. Um, she has like a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna use the shade and tap a wee bit off on the tile beneath me. Put it in the center. Back to this brush. And the black eyeliner. This is not really on her lip, but I'm gonna take a wee bit of silver as well, actually. And just run it through, cause to be like, that's what this look wants right now. Go to the lashes and just curl them. I'm gonna use the Mac Stack Mascara. A really good mascara. Like genuinely for length and volume. So I'm gonna let that first layer of mascara go a wee bit dry and start on the other one. I love to work like in intervals with layers of mascara because I find that it just is the best way to build up volume and thickness, length, everything. Back to this one. Let's go on to the lower lashes. So they're really defined. So I'm just gonna put loads and loads of mascara on. And if I can get a similar finish that she had, then I'm not gonna put individuals on. So I'm gonna start with like a couple of layers. I'm gonna take tweezers and clump them. Yeah. Back to the mascara and take the tip of it and apply it to each little clump. I feel it's so pretty in this, it's not even real. Let's go on to the lip. She has a really dark brown, almost black. You would think it's black on first glance, but just move that tripod. Um, but it's actually just a really dark brown. Brown liner, black base, and then a black on top, um, and then a brown on top. This is not dark enough. Okay, MAC Chestnut Liner. I need to warm it up in the back of my hand because my eyes get so cold that everything freezes. You can hear the bin man outside. So glam. Gotta be done though. And then I'm gonna add a bit of this black base. It needs a wee bit of warmth. Love the taste of that lipstick. It tastes like coffee. I don't even really drink coffee, but I love the taste of it. Actually, black gloss is my homemade one. Look at that. I just really want to use this blush with this situation and yeah and i'm just gonna darken the crease a wee bit more i think i feel like it it can definitely take it insane i feel so amazing in this look it's not even funny i've got my wee clipping fringe my freaking face id is not working <laughs> So I'm gonna brush my hair right and hide it. I had a micro fringe for years and like 
Honestly, it is such a power move. Feel like I should cut this. I'm gonna cut it. Be right back. Much better. Fuck, I want my hair like this now. This is the final look by Callie Kennedy on Taylor Russell. It's insane. It's the best editorial I've seen in a minute, in my opinion. I adore it. So beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.